Hi everyone. Now we will learn how we can make form grouping with reactive forms in Angular. So first we will discuss what is form grouping and why this is important. After that in template file we have to make HTML form with form group and in TS file we define some properties for form group. And then we will see how we can get and set values in input fields with the help of form grouping and at last we will discuss some important interview questions also. This is the playlist for Angular 19 tutorial that will definitely help, help you out for Angular job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. Alright, let's talk about first question. What is form grouping and why this is important. So we know that in uh, reactive forms, we basically define a form control for each of the input field that we learned in the previous part. But if we use form grouping then we have to define only one property for uh, form and inside this we define the keys for the input field and due to that we can easily organize uh, our code and that provide the better readability and we can easily validate uh, and uh, do the error handling after that uh, accessing uh, input values and setting the input values is also easy with the help of form grouping and now let's see how we can do that. So first of all, I am making a simple form. So let me make a form. Uh, you don't need to define its action and method. If you want, you can remove. So the thing that you need to define, which is uh, a property form group. There we have to provide the form group name and we will just make in the TS file and then we will define the name there. After that, there is a, a event ng submit and we have to make a function for this. But uh, let's not use this otherwise it will give error for a moment because the same time we have to define the function name also. But let's inside this, let's define three input fields, placeholder, enter name and uh, now let me define two more properties. Now you can see that, uh, okay, so form group is not assignable. Okay, yeah, so for now we have to remove this also. We will add it in the sometime, don't worry. All right, but they all are in the uh, same line. So either you can use the CSS, but to save time, I'll just use your BR tags. Right, and I'll change the name to the password and to the input field. And then you can take a button also for submit. Now this is a little bit better. The next thing that we need to do in the app component.ts, uh, let me remove all of these properties first, right? So that I can just show you from scratch. So let's take a, you can say that a property, the name of profile form. You can make any name to this, but seems this is the profile detail like name, password and, and uh, email. That's why I'm keeping the name profile form. And that should be a new form group, right? And inside this, as a parameter, we have to pass an object there. And uh, keep in mind, this form group should be imported from the forms. And this is, you can see that form group is a class and this is a new object or new instance of this, all right? And with that, we have to import their reactive uh, form module also, right? Like this. And there we'll define its name of field, which is uh, name then uh, and it should be the new form control right if there you can provide some default value if you want to provide but that feature i'll show you in some time and let's provide the two more fields there which is password and last one is email like this okay and uh, after this let's put their set value and in set value okay so we don't need to put their set value just go with the simple way that will define in some time so this form profile form should be attached there uh, with the property of a uh, form group right so let me put there form group like this and now there should be no error at all perfect everything is working fine and to click on the submit we have to call a function which is uh, ng submit right this function will be called and there we will say get uh, let me create a submit function only submit data or any name you want to give there right and let me define this function 
and uh, let me make there console dot log let's say submit data code now if i click over there you can see that this submit data is cold but i want to get the value of these input fields so if i just put some values there then if i just click there the value will be not there because we haven't uh, mentioned anything there we just uh, made a console right so if you want to get the value then what you need to do you have to just run one thing you have to just uh, put a one syntax which is this dot uh, your form group name which is profile uh, form then value and now if i just put there let's say anil password is one two three four five and email is abc at the rate test.com and if i just click over there okay so the value is null for all of them reason is because we have to connect these fields here also how there we have to use one property form control name and there we have to provide the name of key whatever key we want to bind so with the name field we want to bind the name and with password we will bind password so this is for name this is for uh, password and last one is email now let's try again anil 1234 anil at the rate test.com click on the submit here you can see that we got the value okay great so this is how we can get the value but let's say you want to give some default value to the form then how you can do that okay this is also very easy so you can provide some uh, values there so if i just put there anil then password is one two three and email is anil at the rate test.com so you will find that that value will be populate whenever you will loading the form this is so easy okay next thing is let's say there is a button uh, again there is a button uh, for set values and on click uh, uh, on click we will call a function there set values uh, let me fix the typo yep values and uh, the button type should be button only because sometime it will just start submitting the form and on this and this should be called as a function there now let me create one more function and there what we need to do this dot let's say whenever i just click over okay uh, let me define this function first yep and uh, perfect so whenever i will click on the set values the value should be changed there and if there is a no default value then uh, there should be value otherwise whatever values i want to set they should be in the input field okay so what do you need to do for this this dot profile form dot set value right and there inside this you can define all of the field let's say name it could be peter let's say uh, password is also let's say three two one at the rate one two three right and last one is email and email is let's say uh, peter at test.com now this is the default value and when i click on the set value here you can see that the latest value is updated if you want to show the these three values on the form then how you can do that this is very simple let's say you have h3 tag and then you want to show the value for name this dot uh, profile form dot value dot name now you can see that this value is there so if i just change it to the bruce then this value is also getting changing changed same way you can use the password also and uh, last one is email also and when whatever i'm just providing there let's say data at the rate test.com i'm just writing anything randomly right and abc you can see that the same values are there and if i just change the all these values on the set value all values are also changed this is how reactive form grouping works if you still have any doubt confusion you can ask me in the comment section please don't forget to subscribe my channel like this video share your feedback in the comment section and this is my paytm and gpay donation number thank you so much